Hey Tess, this is Steven from CMP Automotive here in Calgary, and this right here is our 2023 GMC Sierra 3500 AT4 with the Duramax diesel. First things first, it was a pleasure meeting you on Saturday. This is the very truck that you pointed out, second from the left in that row over there. What I intend to do in this video, I'll give you a little walk around tour, go over some key features of what makes this truck special, and uh, we'll go from there. So first things first, it is a 2023 model, excellent condition. It only has 23,000 kilometers or a little over that. Um, it is a crew cab with the standard box um, and it is an AT4. So AT4 is the off-road trim level. And it's not just an AT4, it has uh, a few extra options on top of that as well. So I'll go over all that. So let's talk about the engine. This is a 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8 called the Duramax. Um, it is connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Uh, when you combine that 10-speed with the 6.6, this is, in my opinion, the best diesel powertrain on the market today, bar none. Uh, far smoother uh, than the 6.7 Cummins, uh, a lot less lag. Um, you know, it has longevity, durability, great range, great power tone capacity, all of that. Um, and let's go over some key features on this very frigid day. <laughs> so you have uh, full LED lighting that includes daytime running lamps, headlamps, turn signals, and fog lamps down below. Now being an AT4, as I mentioned, you have these red recovery hooks down the front bumper. Um, you also get a front camera located in the grill. That works in conjunction with the with the cameras on each side mirror as well as the back end, which creates a 360 camera. In addition to that, you have front parking sensors, right, with sonar, so they beep when you get close to an object. You get, you get this very aggressive uh, foot scoop, which looks nice and is functional, I believe. Now going around the sides, you get, because it's an AZ4, you get the plastic fender flares with integrated uh, uh, lighting on the side, reflector lights. Uh, that's combined with the clearance lights on the roof. This is a very, very badass truck. Uh, down below as well, something I enjoy, a little detail. The block heater plug is located right here instead of buried into the uh, engine bay. So that way you don't have to get your clothes all dirty. All dirty. Now, moving around the sides, you get these uprated 20 inch wheels. These are uh, additional option. I believe it's over three grand, maybe 3,500. They're wrapped in all-terrain rubber. AT4 also has a factory lift. It has Rancho, um, Rancho shocks. Um, in addition to that, AT4 also comes with off-road driving mode, um, hill descent control, and a couple other goodies that I'll go over. This truck has the power running boards along the side. These side mirrors, as you see, have integrated daytime running lamps, turn signals, they are Trailer tow mirrors, power extension or power extending. Uh, they also power fold in case you're in a tight spot. They are auto dimming, they're heated and they have integrated blind spot monitoring and convex. Each door being a GM truck, which I love, each door handle has its own keyless proximity entry button. Very convenient. And again, something that I really enjoy on GM trucks, utility. This truck has an integrated step right here to get into the bed. But back here on the rear bumper in the corner, you have a step as well. But it's not just that. Inside, you have a handle that pops open or pops up, right? For support, which is very nice. I'll grab that in a second, it's hard with gloves. Um, and little things, like if I if you don't have that handle and the bed is closed, you place your foot here and you need to grab something for leverage, you can grab here. Well, this isn't a simple rectangle like on a lot of, a lot of other makes, it's rounded. Little thing that doesn't pinch your hand, it's a nice little detail. Now, getting back to this bed, um, this does have the Multi-Pro tailgate. Okay, and what that means, so it opens up just like your normal tailgate. It's 
dampened as well. It doesn't just flop right down. And then you're greeted with a spray and box liner already there. This also has the fifth wheel prep pack buried under the snow and your hookups right there. Above that, you have a rear sliding window with integrated defrost. Now, beyond that, you also have this. So this, press this, press this. It's a little hard with gloves, at least my gloves. There we go. That opens up, a little button in there. And now you have a step, even bigger step to get in. And you close it right up. Now on this tailgate, you also have a backup camera. On the rear bumpers, you have parking sensors. Below that, you have a class five hitch receiver and your four and seven pin harnesses right there. All the lighting back here as well is gonna be LED. That includes your brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, the lots. Let's head on in. Power boards. Flat floor, being a off-road truck, you already have all-weather mats installed. 60-40 split rear bench. Uh, the leather is perforated and it has calamari colored uh, um, uh, accents. On each side, you also have hidden storage, which is very nice there and there as well. Center armrest with cup holders. and plenty of room. I'm about six feet, six foot one. This seat ahead is uh, adjusted for my driving position. And as you see, lots of room. I'm also greeted with AC vents, heated seats, USB-C, USB-A, and a 12 volt DC plug right there. And then above my head, all the lighting is LED. Let's go up front. So up front, you have memory seats, obviously your power locks, power mirrors, power door locks. These are gonna be your power mirrors, as you see right there, power folding mirrors, I should say. And then your power extending mirrors, which extend like that. Driver's seat is power operated, as well as the passenger seats. Again, perforated leather. These seats are heated and cooled. Down below, you have all-terrain tires again, electronic parking brake, Let's hop in because it is very cold. Whew. Okay. Let's talk interior. So first things first, on a day like today, heated steering wheel, it's very, very handy. It's also leather wrapped, as you would expect. Um, something else that I really enjoy, and this is something that you cannot find on a Dodge product, for instance, on a heavy duty truck at least. You have your normal four high, two high, and four low modes for transfer case, but you also have auto, kind of a set it and forget it all wheel drive system. Then you have driving modes as well. So you have off-road and normal, and then you have trailer mode right there, which adjust, adjust the gearing, I believe. Uh, you have a bed lights, you have your fog lamps, it automatic lights, of course. Now, dead ahead, as you see, the mileage at the time of this video, 23,318. And to the right of that, I have a touchscreen with integrated um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM Radio, factory nav, and quite a few other things. Wi-Fi hotspot, OnStar, and that's going to be your 360 camera, which is great. So there's different modes that you can that you can look at. This, of course, has your trajectory, your your guidance lines. This is great if you're coming up to a tight spot and also on the rear end and then your trailer guidance that's going to be for curbs and then look at that kind of gives you an idea of your surroundings all to say you have a bed you have a bed camera that's your tow hitch yeah Quite a lot to fiddle around with. Um, aside from that, you also get a Bose audio system. 
I see right there. You get a wireless charger down below, dual zone climate control, power tailgate, um, lots of plugs, so a three prong household plug there, 12 volt DC plug right there, USB-C, USB-A, you have an exhaust brake, and you have your trailer brake controller right there. Has push button start, as well as remote start as well. And then a few other, a few more, a couple more uh, USBs in there. Dual glove boxes, lots of storage in the, in this, in the uh, door cards. Just a very nice place to be. Anyway, that pretty much sums it up. Well, one more thing, power sunroof above my head. That pretty much sums it up. Um, let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye now.